This winter has been so incredibly warm and free of snow that it felt really strange waking up to snow the other morning. <laughs> Charlie will never go if I don't make him his potty patch first. So, that is the first order of the day. Hey buddy, good morning, good morning. This is the first dog I've ever had that does not sleep with me. And I trained him like that right from the start because I wanted him to be able to not be sad when I would go away and he would stay with like my family or something, which he adores my family, but I just didn't want him to be overly, overly attached. Plus I have a really high bed and I was scared because this is the smallest dog I've ever had. My last Chihuahua was bigger than this and she could jump on and off my bed. And she did sleep in my bed, but I'm scared he'll get excited and jump off the bed and break his leg, which can totally happen with these little guys. Yes. And the funny thing is I trained him right out the gate as a baby to sleep on his own in his crate. And now the times when I try to get him to just come cuddle with me, he has no desire because this is his domain here on the sofa. <laughs> he shares it with me, but mostly this is his sofa. I know, she's like your least favorite thing. Let's get out here to your potty patch. Hey, go buddy. I need it just for you. On snowy mornings, what I want to do is make warm coffee and yummy pancakes and sit inside. But then I also reminded myself we haven't had beautiful snow much this winter. So I decided to go out and have my breakfast outside. I'm actually sitting in a mulch pile and I gotta tell you, it's pretty comfortable. It's like a big beanbag chair. Little flowers are popping up everywhere now, which is a pretty clear sign that spring is just days away really. So it felt good to go outside and really, really enjoy this little snowy, peaceful morning since this might be pretty much the last snow we're getting this winter. I have bought this. It's not really a coat because it's thin. Um, so it's not exactly warm, but I had bought this in the fall. It was a cheapie <laughs> and I thought it would be so pretty for pictures out with the leaves in spots where the leaves were like really, really red. Um, never used it. I'm a mess because I was just out in the snow. <laughs> and then I thought, well, it's not quite the bright red color I would want for the snow. But I thought, okay, it'll still be really pretty out in the snow with the little fuzzy sleeves. <laughs> but then it never snowed. <laughs> so today I didn't actually feel like going out and playing in the snow. I'm supposed to be painting the wall. <laughs> That's the actual job for today. I've had COVID for the last couple of days, just a mild case. But I probably shouldn't have been out in the snow running around and laying in the snow. But whatever. <laughs> I felt like this was my only chance to actually use this thing. Otherwise, it would have been just kind of a waste. As you can see, I got fancy and even put on matching lipstick. <laughs> so, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> My very favorite thing about walking through the forest when it snows is how quiet and still everything feels. It feels kind of like you're walking right through a miracle.
got kind of wet out there. He's drying off. This little guy is such an inexpensive drone. I mean, he's not cheap, but like in the world of drones, he's cheap. And he really takes a beating. I was out playing in the woods when really what I should have been doing was cleaning off the actual thing that needed to be done, like cleaning off the deck. But I mean, playing in the snow felt more important. I'm gonna finally do it. I was using for the last two days the fact that I've been sick with COVID, which was super mild. I've been using that as my excuse when really I should be using it as my advantage because I'm still stuck home one more day just out of, you know, kindness to people. Um, <clears throat> but I feel fine. So now is a perfect time to paint this wall. But the reason I've been dreading it so much, <laughs> well, in part is because I'm just kind of over painting lately, but also... <laughs> The way the ceiling goes, like it's not just an easy, not that it's that hard, but it's a less than easy ceiling. So it just requires getting up higher and taping better or just, you know, more taping. So anyway, I've been lazy about it, but I have got to get this done so I can move on to actually finishing this room because very soon when all of this icky snow that was beautiful yesterday, when it all melts, there is already little, little green bits popping up. It's almost time to start thinking about the garden. So I don't want to be thinking about the house when it's time to be outside. So, oh, here we go. What's your favorite music to listen to when you work? I, um, I mean, music makes all the difference. And I am currently obsessed with an artist called Stromae. If you are French or French speaking, you know him for sure. He's super famous in the, the Francophone community. If you are not a French speaker, I still think he's worth checking out for, for any person. His music is amazing, very upbeat, but every song has such an incredible message. Like there's no song that isn't a story. So he's my favorite. I just saw him at Madison Square Garden. It was awesome. And he's gonna help me paint this room. Why did I like drag my feet so much for that? I, well, I know why. I dragged my feet because I didn't want to tape up there because I thought I was going to have to get out a big ladder from across the property and bring it over and I just didn't want to. <laughs> well, three, just three, told my songs later <laughs> and only the use of my little chair <laughs> is up there. So I guess I can say it's good to be tall. <laughs> I don't typically like the fact that I'm tall. In fact, it's something I've struggled with. My Well, not being tall, being a larger person is something I've struggled with my entire life. Like third grade, so I was at age eight, I do believe I wore a size nine shoe, <laughs> which is what I still wear to this day, which tells you my feet were not massively large. That tells you how big I was in third grade. <laughs> I was huge. And now like, on a good straight posture day. I mean, I'm 5'10", a little less if I'm dealing with back issues, which is crazy. I noticed that like when I would get measured, I haven't been to a doctor in a while, but when I would get measured, my height would change. And it really was based on just how I was standing with my, like my posture and stuff. But anyway, all that just to say, there really are pros and cons to both being short and being tall. <laughs> and in this case, this was a major pro, the fact that it was so easy to get it up there, so. I'm grateful for that. <laughs> and now all I have to do is throw the paint off. It was the taping that I didn't want to do. And 
now comes my favorite part of a paint job and that is you just wait for it to dry that always feels good if you've been dreading putting up paints if it's something you haven't been wanting to do but wanting to get it done and it's been hanging over your head which that wall was hanging over my head for a little over a week so it's done and now I get to work on this little project that truthfully within minutes of starting it I didn't like it but I've been trying to work on finishing a project whether I like it out the gate or not because you never know you might be able to turn it into something you do like Remember the plates that I said I wanted to hang on the wall? Well, it's time to get them up there. And I got so many smart suggestions from you guys on different ways that you could hang plates. This is one suggestion that a very smart lady left for me. I'm just taking the little tops from a soda can and gluing them on with Gorilla Glue. And I'm gonna let that sit and hang them on the wall that way. I try so hard to read all the comments that people leave and to respond because I'm really grateful for them. I'm grateful for how kind and supportive people are and I'm so grateful for all of the amazing ideas that people share here. It's just awesome. I've learned so much through the comments that people have left and I just think it's really amazing. I love reading people cheering each other on too because that happens all the time. So I just wanted to say thank you. So these have to dry for 24 hours. You're really supposed to clamp down when you're using Gorilla Glue, but I can't do that. So hopefully, hopefully this is gonna be enough just as it is. Wow. <laughs> Where'd they all come from? Very satisfying. Ooh, am I gonna get this all done in one fail swoop? No. I have literally been scraping the inside of this trying desperately to find the last bits because honestly the wall needs a little bit more paint but I just don't want to buy another one of these it's always a gamble with one wall like I don't want to have to go get a whole nother one of these because I'm gonna barely use it so I did a little bit of touch up and we'll let it go and see what happens but for anyone who wanted to know the color because I love this color this is called retro pink by bear and i think it's an awesome color and charlie is very unhappy because someone is outside working on our internet wire yay my pink room is done and now i just have to get the right bedding and i just have to find all of the rest of the room <laughs> i don't have the things yet but i'm gonna find them in thrift stores These plates aren't very heavy, so I just used little tiny nails that won't really leave much of a mark in the wall. And I love how it turned out. I might add another plate, I'm not sure, but I think they look so sweet up there. This week I'm feeling extra grateful for the beautiful display that Mother Nature put on with the snow. It was just wonderful. And I would love to know in the comments below what you're feeling grateful for. It's always fun to read that from, from everyone. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.